What's up guys? Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the edge split modifier. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is an interesting little modifier. Um, what it does, if we go into the Blender documentation, is it basically splits or duplicates edges in a mesh. Um, so what it does is it checks edge angles and then it splits out different faces based on the edge angles inside of your model. Now this is kind of a weird concept, so let me demo it real quick and then we can talk about when we might use this. So the way that it works is let's say that we were to take the edge split modifier and apply it. So we'll go to add modifier and let's apply it to this cube. So if we apply an edge split right here, basically what this is going to do is this is taking every face that's in here and it's basically splitting it out if the angle between that and other faces is over 30 degrees. So um, the only way we're gonna see that because if we jump over into, because it is a modifier so it's not live, the only way we're gonna see that is if we apply that to this cube. So if we go in here and we do an apply, real quick, and then I was to tab into edit mode. Notice how these individual faces are kind of separated now. So they're still inside of the same object, but they've been split out and separated. So they're still within the cube, but now they're not linked. So for example, I can't like stretch the cube like I could before. So this is kind of a weird concept. So when would we use this? So really the best place that we would use this is it gives us kind of control over shaded and smooth objects. So. For example, and I'm gonna get rid of this uh, modifier that's on this cylinder real quick. Say I have a shape like this one. I'm gonna switch it back to shade flat, right? So we've got this shade flat in here right now. And um, if I was to right click on it and do a shade smooth, notice how we don't get a very good result. So the reason we don't get a very good result is because right now this is shading this entire thing. And what we're not getting is we're not getting a whole lot of detail in this object anymore. It's just kind of like this blur in here, right? We can see it if we tab into edit mode, but we can't really see it elsewhere. Well, let's say that we were to apply an edge split modifier to this. So if we were to apply edge split right here, notice how now what this is doing is this is reading this object differently. So what it's doing is because this modifier is basically coming in and splitting anything with an edge angle of over 30 degrees, um, now it's reading these edge edges as kind of like separate edges so they're not getting shaded and smooth. And so what this does is this gives us a lot of control over the way that this looks when it's uh, smooth. And uh, so notice how, for example, if I was to uncheck the box for edge angle, I get nothing, but I can also click and drag this. Well, if I click and drag this, notice how when I get over a certain number of degrees, um, more of these are getting shaded or smooth. Um, or more of these are getting the shade smooth applied to it, right? So if I go over 64 degrees like this, then um, those are now getting smoothed out inside of my model. So one other thing to note about this is in addition to being able to apply the edge angle to this, you can also tab into edit mode and you can mark edges at sharp. So if I was to, exa for example, select these edges right here, right click on them and then click on mark sharp. So like this, and then tab back out of here. Now. Notice how no matter what the angle is, those are still going to show up in here because this is checked because we've checked the box for sharp edges being separated. Because the sharp edges are being separated, then they're always going to be split with this modifier. Now, one thing I do want to note about this modifier, and they even say it on the page right now, this is mostly kept for historical and compatibility reasons. You can now handle all of this using custom normals. So basically what that means is that means instead of applying a modifier to this, you can go down into the mesh data under normals, and you can just check the box for auto smooth. So if you check the box for auto smooth, that's going to give you all of the functions of the modifier without you actually having to apply the modifier in here. So for example, if I was to unsharpen these edges. So we're just going to do an alt click, then an alt shift click and clear sharp. Notice how these are being controlled by your auto smoothing inside of your settings right here. So if you do want to get away from using the edge split modifier, which you may want to do, you might consider using the auto smooth function inside of your normals instead. All right. So like I said, there's probably some uses for this, but you may want to consider using that auto smooth function instead. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.